Hello beautiful and wonderful people. Welcome back to Jinamon channel. If you are new here, it's so great to have you. Please don't forget to follow my page and subscribe to my channel as well. In today's recipe, I'll share with you this amazing, super soft, delicious, light and fluffy filled with cheese bread. This turned out so so delicious guys and I hope you're going to give it a try. Just look at it. Let's get started. In a mixing bowl, add and flour, sugar, powdered milk, add in dry active yeast and stir these ingredients together till well combined. After, create a well in the middle and add in milk. Make sure your milk is warm. If you don't want to use milk, you can use warm water. I then added in oil and egg. Lastly, I'll add in salt and mix these ingredients together to well combined and then I'll need this for about 5 to 7 minutes. I will list the exact amount of the ingredients that I'm using in the comment section or in the description box below. So make sure you need it for more or less from 5 to 7 minutes, even 10 minutes. It helps your dough to be more, uh, the bread will turn out more nice. And make sure your dough is very soft. As you can tell here, it's soft and sticky. So I even brush my palm with a little bit of oil and then brush the bowl with a little bit of oil as well. I'll then cover it and let it rest for one hour or until doubled in size. And as you can tell here, it has doubled in size. I'll deflate the dough and trans um, transfer it onto my working surface. I'll then go ahead and divide it into smaller pieces, around 60, 50 to 60 grams each. When done, bring one and roll it in the ball shape on your palm or in your palm, just like so. That's what you're looking for and set it aside. After, bring one of the dough. Before, sprinkle a little bit of flour on your wet surface and then on the dough as well. Now roll it thin. It should be around 2 to 3 millimeters and then it should be long too. So this is what you're looking for. When done, use a pita cutter to cut from the middle to the end. Leave a little space um, to where the end is and then use the pizza cutter to cut like long stripes from the middle to the end. The filling I'm using here is uh, mozzarella cheese but if you want it sweet you can use chocolate even jam as well but I'm going savory today so I, I added mozzarella cheese to the middle. Now roll it and then um, roll it to the end. Make sure you, um, you press the tips together so it stick to the end. Flip it and then press it together. So guys, this is it. It's very simple and easy. I'll then brush on top with egg wash. I'll let the dough rest for about 30 minutes until it has doubled in size again. But before, I'll brush on top with egg wash. The egg wash, I'm using egg yolk and a tablespoon of water. Like I said, I'll list the exact amount of the ingredient that I'm using in the description box below. So brush on top with it and then keep it until it's doubled in size. So as you can tell here, it has doubled in size. Lastly, I'll brush on top with the egg wash again and then put it in the oven at 170 degrees Celsius from 18 to 20 minutes. And guys, this is it. It turned out so, so delicious. This bread is super, super soft. It's light, it's fluffy, the cheese inside. Mm. I used mozzarella cheese, but you can use any cheese of your choice. And guys, just look at it. Just even from the video, just <laughs> this bread got finished the same day, guys. Just look at how soft, how light and fluffy this bread turned out. Give it a try and let me know in the comment section. Just look at it, guys. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed watching this video why don't you give me a credit by giving this video a thumbs up share comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow my page and guys see you in my next video till then bye bye